First of all, it's important to note that the process of preparing a regulatory submission is not a solitary activity. What does good documentation practice mean, and who's involved in using the practice? Well, good documentation practices is a standardized process of creating, organizing, and maintaining the regulatory documents and is used by the entire team represented by several disciplines or cross-functional groups. What is meant by best writing practices and what does it entail? The practice used is to create the content of the regulatory document that accurately and completely and concisely describe the information about your product or process and is accomplished by translating complex technical data into understandable reader-friendly summary information. There are many business considerations associated with the regulatory submission. Many stakeholders within and outside the company will be interested in planning the progress of the regulatory submission. That's because the regulatory submission becomes an important milestone. It's often tracked by investors, stock analysts, competitors, and the industry in general. It may affect funding by outside lending community. Business processes. Companies' uh, direction often relies on the strategy and the outcome of the regulatory activity. Submissions state commitments to regulatory authorities that must be honored. Regulatory affairs makes commitments in the submission to the FDA on behalf of the company, and those commitments need to be supported by company's evidence. This evidence is in the form of data and documents, such as technical protocols and reports, specifications, SOP, quality assurance and control data, and the like. If the evidence is faulty or incorrect or fraudulent, regulatory and or legal action can be taken against the company. The planning and the preparation of the regulatory submission generally leverages the expertise and knowledge of many functional disciplines, internal and external to the company. They may include disciplines such as marketing, product development and research development, manufacturing and quality control, quality systems or quality assurance, clinical affairs, and legal affairs, among others. Communication is key between the cross-functional disciplines when new products are being developed and equally so when changes to an approved product are anticipated. <laughs> 